Hi everyone, Mrs. Neumeyer here back again with our Tin Whistle Unit and our Music Theory. Today we're going to be learning about note values and the staff. So to start out with, let's start off with a blank piece of paper and a pencil and we're going to learn how to draw a staff. So let me get my pen ready here and get your pieces of paper out. Blank, white piece of paper. We're going to start off with drawing some lines. Now first we're going to draw some vertical lines here. Our drawing skills might come in handy that we learned in the first psych in the first 6 weeks, right? And we're going to draw a line on the top and a line on the bottom. We've got a square or actually a rectangle. <laughs> then in the middle, draw another line. So we've got three lines now. Then in the middle of this top section, draw another line. Middle of this bottom section, draw another line. Now we've got a staff. One, two, three, four, five lines is like a staff. All right. So now that we've drawn our staff, we can start drawing some notes. We're going to learn about four different kinds of notes, and we're going to start with what's called a whole note. A whole note we draw as an open circle like that, and it will hold four beats. All right, so can you draw a whole note on your paper? All right, next we're going to draw a half note. It's just like our whole note, but we're going to add a stem. The stem goes on the right side of the note, like that. Okay, the next one we're going to draw is going to be a quarter note. Now, a quarter note looks kind of like our half note, but we're going to fill it in. Let's see, I didn't leave myself much room, so I'm going to draw another step. So you can do this on your paper too. Maybe you're going to have two staffs or maybe you drew, drew yours big enough to have room. But I'm going to draw mine again. Or maybe a, a bat, you can use the back. All right, there's my staff. Now I'm going to draw my quarter note where I'm going to fill in the circle and draw the stem. All right, and the next one we're going to draw is a quarter note. So let's draw that just like we did. Sorry, I meant eighth note. Did I say quarter note? I think I did. This is going to be eighth note. Eighth, eighth note. Just like a quarter note, but look, it's got a little flag off to the side. Again, on the right side, that's going to be our eighth note. Now, each of these notes have different values. They mean different things as far as how many beats they hold. All right, let me show you this chart here that helps us learn the different values to, for the different notes. Now, here's that half or so whole note that we drew there, that open circle. In it takes it will take up four beats. Like we're going to just talk about it in terms of if if it's the time signature is 4/4, four, four. we won't get into any other time signatures. Now, so we'll just stick with that for now, and you'll learn about time signatures later if you pursue if you pursue music. Now, in the time four four, a whole note would keep four beats. A half note, well, if a whole is four, what's half? Cut it in half. Two. Two half notes make up one whole note. It's like we're doing math, isn't it? All right, so we've got whole notes, whole notes, half notes. Half notes have two beats. Then we can split that up into quarter notes. If we have four beats, half note take up two beats. A quarter note, do you know how many quarters are in a dollar? Four, right? So how many quarter notes are in a whole note? Four. So they take up one beat. Then we also have the eighth notes. 
Now we drew them with the little tail off to the side like this. You can also find them with the bar together because they take up half of a beat. So a lot of times you'll see them together, two of them, so that they equal one, two of them equal one. So each quarter note, sorry, each eighth note takes up half of a beat. All right, so we're gonna practice with a uh, hold, what those kind of sound like when you're playing them. Now, let's start with our eighth notes, the half a beat. They're gonna go T T T T T T T T. They're a little bit faster. Our quarter notes are going to be ta 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 ta. So one two three four. T T T T T T T T. Same amount of time. We just say these faster, and these ones each get their own beat. Now the half note, we're gonna say half note, half note. Because when we say half, that'll be like the first beat. Note is like the second note, so they take up two, right? Half note, half note. Whole note, we'll say whole note, three, four. Because whole is step beat one, note is beat two, three, four. They take up four beats. All right, let's practice. All right, can you say T-T-T-T-T-T-T-T? Your turn. Ready? Now we'll do our quarter note. Ta, 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 ta. Your turn. Ta, 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 ta. Now our half note. Half note, half note. Your turn. Half note, half note. And then our whole note. Whole note, three, four. Your turn. Whole note, three, four. All right. Go ahead and give that some practice. Practice the different notes and, the, and saying them together as a class or if you're at home, practice saying those notes several times so you get the feel for how many, uh, how many beats each one of them takes up and what they sound like when you're saying them, that they all equal. All right, give that a try. Okay, next we're gonna learn how to draw a treble clef. Now in music, there's a treble clef and a bass clef. Now the treble clef is what we see on top and the bass is what we see on bottom. If you're playing piano, the top is what you play with your right hand and the bottom is what you play with your left hand. We're gonna practice drawing a treble clef. Now, so on another sheet of paper, draw your staff. Remember we have a line on the bottom, line on top. We've got our sides, middle line, Split the top in half and the bottom in half. Quick way to draw our staff. All right, now the treble clef is a little tricky, so I want you to follow along. First, we're gonna start off with making kind of a circle shape, but it doesn't close, it goes around like that. All right, then after that, you're gonna go up like that, kind of a swirly line. And then we're gonna go down and curl it around. All right, now it might take a few times, some practice, I think I need some practice too. And you can practice drawing that over and over until you get it right. So go ahead and draw more on your sheet of paper. Or if you have a copy of the staff paper that's in your foundations guide, would be a great place to also practice more. Practice drawing your treble clefts many, many times and you'll get the hang of it. Okay, now we can take our tin whistles out of their sleeping bags, hold them in front of you, and we're gonna get ready to play. Now let's get our fingering right first, and then we'll practice playing our notes with our tin whistle. Now we practiced with our voices and we're gonna practice with our tin whistle. All right, so get your fingering right. Remember your left, make your capital L, Put that one on top. Put your fingers there, fingers there. Now we can play any note we want to. Right now we're not gonna play a specific note, but we do wanna make sure we play the note that we want and hold it for the right number of beats. So let's start by doing a whole note. So remember the whole note, 
it's four beats. So we're gonna say whole note three, four. So what that sounds like when we play, I'm just gonna play it in the D. Go. Holding it for four notes. Let me do that again. One, two, three. You can do it with me this time. Ready? One, two, three, four. Now our half notes. We'll play two of them, right? Because if we're gonna do four beats, we need to play two because they're each word two. So we'll half note, half note. Ready? I'll show you and then you can go. Ready? Here we go. Okay, that was four. One, two, three, four. Do it with me on four. Ready, get in position. One, two, three, four, play. Half note, half note. Good. All right, next we're gonna do the quarter note. Each note gets a beat. Ta, 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 ta. Okay, what that's gonna look like, we're gonna do one, two, three, four. Okay, now it's your turn. Ready? On four. One, two, three, four. Ta, 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 stop. Got it? <laughs> okay. Now we're gonna do the eighth notes. Now these ones go faster. Doesn't mean we play louder or shriekier. We still keep the beat. One, or T, 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 T. Let me show you how that works. Ready? One, two, three, four. All right, your turn. Ready? Get in position. One, two, three, four. T, 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 T. Stop. Good. All right, go ahead and put your tin whistles down. Well, it's some, something I want to show you. Put them down on your laps or on your table. All right, one thing we haven't talked about is over here on this side of the paper. These are called rests. Now, for what we're not we're not going to learn too much about them except that we want to I want to point out this quarter note here. This quarter rest gets one beat just like the quarter notes. Now, the reason I want to point that out is because in our music, you might notice we've got some rests here. And I wanted to show you so you knew what to do when you get to that part. A rest means you don't play, and that shows you for how long. So you take a little break, right? You take a little rest. So you'll be playing along, and then you stop there, don't play, and then you continue on. So here you go. Ta, 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 rest. You can even say it as in your mind or um, almost like whisper it to yourself as you're playing. And then ta, 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 half note, ta, rest. Okay, so let's practice the first line of this song and see if we can get that. And remember to get those rests in there. Let's see if we can keep the beat using the notes that we just learned, the quarter notes. And we've got a half note here in that first line. And go ahead and practice your first line of the song that you're working on. All right. After you've done that, you can try again to play it together as a class, or you can try one at a time, each person taking the turn. And we'll learn more next week about our music theory. We'll see you then. Bye-bye.